Hello guys, this video will help you in performing the regression analysis through smart pillars. So before the regression analysis, you first have to perform a pluritary factor analysis and after getting the desired table of the rotated component matrix, uh, you can now able to perform a regression analysis. So the video I have already posted related to performing exploratory factor analysis and uh, this video will actually tell you uh, how to adjust your table as well. So it's a requirement that all the items should load in the same cell or in the same construct you can say like this so sn items are actually loaded with each other in the same cell and there are no other item is loaded in the same construct uh, similarly you can see that si items are loaded in their same construct and no other item is actually loaded in this uh, cell so let's suppose if there is a video if there is a value that is actually 0 0.510 so you have to consider the value that is actually higher so if let's suppose i'm just copying this table in the excel sheet to explain you further let's suppose this is the table and you can see any other value that is actually mentioned in other cell as well let's suppose here is 510 so what you have to do is you have to consider the highest one so the highest one is loaded in, in this cell so you can say that you can uh, say that the item is actually highly loaded in this construct and this construct is of related to si so you can just ignore this value uh, or let's suppose if the value is 0 0.580 then what you have to do is you have to consider that this value is actually loaded with the items of D because here now the value is 0.58 so this is highest one so you can say you can uh, say that this item is actually loaded with the items of D so it's a trouble so you have to delete this item as well or you can uh, adjust this item by deleting this particular item so here um, all the values are actually fine now so what you have to do is you have to first transform these variables so let me show you this is the exact table of rotated components i can see that sn 1 till 5 are actually loaded so what i have to do is i have to click on transform and then i have to compute the variables this is sn so i am writing social need okay as an social need what i have to do is i have to place a, a round bracket over here then i have to double click on this and then click on plus from the keyboard and again on plus i have to take the average of these items okay to perform my regression analysis this is important step and then you have to put this sign the division sign and how many items uh, so there are five items so i have to write five over here okay then press okay again transform then i compute variable now i have to transform the other variable so the other variable is fi and fi 5 till 5 are loaded so this is a social influence so i'm writing s i n f okay i'm just deleting these values and si 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and then press ok similarly for the other variable as well uh, so this is convenience i have to check how many items are loaded here so i can see that still c1 till c5 are actually loaded so you have to consider only those items that are actually loaded and if you have deleted any of the items you must ignore those items in trans in computing so i have to see this so there are also five i'm dividing it by five so if there are four values you have to divide it by four okay now the last one d so d1 till d4 are loaded then click on transform then click on compute d is dependency so i'm writing dep i note that only four items are there so i just write four over here uh, again I'm just deleting one item as well and D1 till D4 I have to double click on this click on plus click on plus click on plus and click on plus so let's suppose I have 
computed all the variables now. So now to perform the regression analysis, you have to click on analyze, then click on regression, and then it's linear regression or multiple regression you have to consider. So this is the linear regression. My dependent variable is let's suppose dependency. So I have to check the transform variable. So dependency was transformed by the name of DEP. I'm just double clicking on this and then pressing over to here. And these are social needs, social influence and convenience are my dependent independent variables. So I have to click it over here. Okay. So if you want to put a uh, checks on these part you can you can put as well like I'm just placing the check on the collinearity diagnostics okay I, I want to make up the uh, plotting or uh, tables you can plot it as well and if you want to see the value of uh, I want to check the standardized values as well so I'm just placing it over here okay yeah, and again there is no need to place any check over here here as well you have to just put it like this and again let's leave it and then just press on ok so now these are the results of the regression analysis so in these results you have to check first the value of r square and adjusted r square so what actually r square tells you it actually tells that how much your independent variable is actually predicting your dependent variable so if i see it over here my independent variables are convenience social influence and social needs and my dependent variable is dependency so i can see that it is actually predicting 21.7 percent okay here this f statistics shows the overall model fitness so you can see that it is significant as well so it's fine as well okay in the in this table you have to check the value uh, actually this is the main table that shows you the relationship is significant or not so if you see that the value of constant is 0.529 however the value of social need is 0 0.110 that is the value of the beta or you can see the value of the coefficient these are the values of the unstandardized coefficients and these are the values of standardized coefficients this value is 1.500 that shows you the level of significance and this is the significant value if the value is greater than 0 0.05 then you can say that you reject the hypothesis null hypothesis uh, you okay you reject the null uh, I just uh, said it wrongly you, ju you just reject the alternate hypothesis okay so there is not significant relationship between social need and dependency however if i see the relationship of social influence you can see that the value is less than 0 0.05 so i reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate one which shows you that social influence has a significant impact on dependency however the value of beta shows you the strength of the relationship so if social influence will increase by one unit dependency will be increased by 42.5 percent okay here you can see the values of uh, t statistics if the t is greater than 1.96 you consider the relationship is significant else you just reject the alternate hypothesis so if you see it over here the value of t is below than 1.96 so i'm just rejecting my alternate hypothesis and the significant value is also tells you that you have to reject your alternate hypothesis similarly if you see the relationship of social influence you can see that the value is greater than 1.96 however the significant value is less than 0.05 okay convenience also tells you the relationship is not significant because the value is greater than 0.05 and t statistics also shows that its value is less than 1.96 however the vif value shows you the collinearity between the variables so if the value is less than 5, you consider that all the variables are unique or distinguished from each other or you, or you can say that there is no uh, issue of multicollinearity. I hope this video will help you in uh, interpreting, interpreting or you can say uh, in writing your research results. Thank you so much.